hello welcome back to our series on matrix in this video we shall learn about invertible matrix that is matrix which has an inverse okay before we go to find out uh, when a matrix is invertible let's also find out what inverse of a matrix means okay let's do it with an example see here we are given two matrices matrix A and matrix B and we are trying to find out the product of A with B so from our earlier videos we know how to find the product of two matrices let's just do that here right the first element will be 2 into 2 plus 3 into minus 1 which will be 1 right and the next is 2 into minus 3 and 2 into plus 3 which will be 0 now for the the other two elements 1 into 2 into 2 into minus 1 so 2 into 1 and plus 2 into minus 1 which will 2 plus 2 minus 2 will be 0 now the last term would be 1 into minus 3 plus 2 into 2 which is minus 3 plus 4 will give you 1 so the resultant matrix is actually an identity matrix remember from our earlier videos identity matrix is a one where the diagonal elements are all one and everything else is zero this is an identity matrix when we see that product of two matrix gives an identity matrix as a result then we say one matrix is the inverse of others we can say a is inverse of b or you can also call B is inverse of A okay and this is denoted as B is equal to A inverse so when you multiply the inverse of a matrix with itself it will give you an identity matrix okay now let's find out what is an invertible matrix for a matrix to be invertible the matrix should be a square matrix first rule is it should be a square matrix that's one a b and will give you an identity matrix otherwise you won't get an identity matrix and you remember all identity matrix are square matrices okay and two the determinant of the matrix exists and is not equal to zero both condition needs to be satisfied for a matrix to be invertible now what is a determinant we will learn in subsequent videos it is this nothing but uh, the value expansion of this matrix absolute value of this matrix we will learn how to calculate determinants in a subsequent set of videos okay for now we just need to remember that a matrix needs to be a square matrix for its inverse to be defined otherwise it, it does not exist okay now that we know here we were given two matrices if we are given a how to find how to find a inverse is a separate class of problems which we will learn in the next video keep watching math smart Subscribe to MathSmart to know when we post a new video and learn more about mathematics. Thank you.